Hi there, Terhi here. I'm playing with August Hipkits and as last week's mini book was kind of a warm up, today I'm showing you what to do with the color kit and the Prima oil pastel pastels inside it. Um, I did some kind of resist technique with the pastels and I'm leading you through of how to make it. So the receipt for this layout is really simple. First I'm adding some clear gesso through the stencil to my white cardstock. I'm using a brush instead of palette knife because I want to have really really thin layer of gesso. I'm going through almost the whole paper because I want the patterns to be visible like everywhere. And once the gesso is dry, I'm adding a lot of colors. Instead of gesso, you can also use gel medium or white gesso or something, but I prefer the clear gesso because it's so liquid <laughs> and, and um, I, I, I really like it. It's the most easiest to use. Anyway, so these pastels are nice because you can use them dry or you can use them wet and I'm using them wet today. I added first them dry to the areas I want to have to color and then I'm using wa uh, water and brush to go through the colored areas and as you can see the outcome is much like watercolors but I think it's much more intense in some way. So once I have added the water I'm using a baby wipe to get the color off from the areas the um, clear gesso is. The clear gesso resists these pan, pan pastels, oil pastels, so it's really, really nice effect to make. You can actually do with few layers the same technique if you want to try. Maybe first some kind of large pattern and then some kind of um, smaller pattern with different color and it might be really nice. Anyway, then I'm of course <laughs> leaving it to dry. Uh, you can use a heat gun, but I, I'm too lazy to get that off from my cabin. So next phase is to make some kind of design for the photographs. I'm using three photographs today, which is quite much for me, but the moment with with our, uh, uh, how to say it, the dog we are taking care of, this Helmi dog, and with my daughter Maya, they were having so much fun in the field, and they are so connected, and well, they are so good together that I really wanted to make this kind of photo series for this layout. Uh, I'm using papers from August Hip Kids, and these, um, the arrow embellishment and the circle one is from Pink Paisley Page Evans collection. And then there's the title, title from Great Paper Cute, Col Cute Girl Collection. And as you can see, the title, the XOXOX, is completely black. And really shiny black, so I wanted to keep um, to have some other contrast on the page too. So I added the ampersand and I draw some lines around the squares in the background of the page. And I'm finishing the layout with Animal Dutch from August Hip Kids, which are really nice because there are some triangles and some circle shapes and lots of different colors. This was really easy and I hope you get inspired with the Prima Oil Pastels because I personally love them. Uh, you can do so many things and, and the fact that you can use them dry or wet is something really special and fantastic. So here it is, some splashes around and that's it, nothing, nothing more and I think it's still quite nice.
And I really love the title because I'm not used to put title in any other way than straight to the photo. So it's nice to have this kind of um, circle shape of title. What's the right word? Anyway, so thank you for watching. And next week I'm doing something else with the same oil pastels. So tune in then again. Thanks for watching. Bye.